next challenge is about loops so this should be fun uh, so they are just doing a basic loop structure here oh this is amazing there is no parentheses no nothing like C or C++ or PHP or whatever um, so in the while loop it's just like that so that should be easy okay so instead of these parentheses they just use okay looks like it should be fun it's more like English rather than like a coding language which is good um, so they're asking us to read an integer n for all non-negative integers um, i is less than n print i square see the examples for details okay sample for detail okay if you enter five should enter zero one two okay so for each um, of these numbers you just have to print the square for these so for zero it's zero for one it's one for two it's four for three it's nine and for four it's 14 um, 16 sorry um, so we just get the input from stdn which is n and is equal to again an integer which is raw input so we got it now we need to run a for loop for and since i'm doing it for the first time let's say for i in range for i in range uh, and range should be equal to um from from zero to n okay zero to n so let's do that should it be equal to okay it's less than n so let's do n minus one then okay now print p o w as we remember from before we should print i power two we could just print print i like that as well but let's do it what we learned from before um, and run the code and see what happens invalid syntax why mm. okay let's see okay we had to put a full column here next time I'm not forgetting it so let's try running it again and hope this time it works again as it was expecting here they say you have to go until n and not equal to n and that's the reason why I did so anyhow um, let's go till n so this thing goes till 16 here um, okay runs one more time and goes till 16 yeah but this one here doesn't make sense this sh they should say one is less than or equal to n okay let's I'll just report this one as well and submit this as of now and I'll report it and we'll move on to the next video that's it